no harm in love Without no projection Every night and day Tell me what to say He fronted the greatest indie rock band of the 90s, Pavement. When they broke up in 2000, he started a new band called Stephen Machmus and the Jicks. Their fourth studio album came out earlier this month, and it's fantastic. It's called Real Emotional Trash. You should buy it or die. Let's welcome lead singer and guitarist Stephen Machmus. He knows guitar like I know gout. Hey, first off, Stephen, I got to ask you a question. What exactly is a Jick? I should have seen that coming. Um, <laughs> it's a... Uh... For us, it's just a hypothetical, well, it's a, a made-up word that we, probably around the time Red Eye runs, we were playing music mm -hmm. when musicians do their dirty deeds, and uh, we just, off the top of our head, we came up with this name. And to me, it's sort of like a, a mix between, it's either like a tick, or it could be that robot you just showed. <laughs> it actually. could be. Um, you, you, I, re I read. A mix between a jerk and a uh, a jerk and another ick. I gotcha. <laughs> it rhymes with jick. But I read, I, I read from the Urban Dictionary that it is a specific act of making love to jick. Is that exciting? I don't know what um, what ghetto that came from. <laughs> I've never heard that before. It's also a jack in a card game in Italy, supposedly too. Th there you like, go. Uh, yeah. See, it was a great question. Now, before I get to your new album, I read that you worked on the soundtrack for the Bob Dylan biopic, I'm Not There. Is that true? Now, were you the voice that was coming out of Kate Blanchett's mouth? Yeah. Yeah, that was, uh, that was me. I'm also in When She's Singing Maggie's Farm. We basically come together, as the Beatles would say, mm -hmm. for... It's just celluloid bliss. <laughs> now, do you, do, <laughs> do you feel like you deserved her Academy Award nomination? Well, I think we should have had to split it. I would have had to take maybe the base of the award. But, yeah, the shaft. Or we just melt down the gold, what with the, the price of gold these days. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so how's the new album doing? It's doing surprisingly well. I say surprising because... Uh, Anytime anything does well, it's surprising in this uh, economic climate. That is true. That is true. Now, parts of it have a progressive rock sound to them, and the title track is 10 minutes long. Now, did you ever stop to think, hey, that's really long? <laughs> Not really. I've, I have a, a relationship with long songs going back to mm -hmm. forever. Yeah. You know? I, you know, classical music, things go on forever. I mean, this is kind of a... A short song for Bach or something. <laughs> That's I'm, true. Far be it for me to put myself, compare myself to Bach, but we why will. not? We will. Bach is nothing compared to you. Now, some, some of right. the jigs play in other bands, too. How does that affect the way the band works? Oh, it's share and share alike. You know, we, we kind of, you get people spread out to steal ideas from their other bands and just bring back the best ones to me. Mm-hmm. Very good. Mm. Sort of. It's you know, it's insidious, like yes. capitalism. Mm. Now, Blender. <laughs> now, Blender recently named Slanted and Enchanted the greatest indie rock album of all time. Were you surprised? Yeah, I was because there were some groups on there, legendary groups such as the Velvet Underground, uh, which most of us would have to agree is one of the most influential groups in the history of rock and roll white boy rock and roll and so, you know I've, I don't think we, we would put pavement above them mm -hmm. so I would I don't know <laughs> I it's thought not, that oh thanks <laughs> I mean I'm glad to be it's nice to be in there you know who is blender to say this though you know it's, <laughs> yes. that's what magazines do they create lists now I read somewhere that you worked you worked security for the Whitney Museum here in New York is that true I did. Yep, I worked uh, almost all the floors, the basement. I even did the night shift. Uh, I worked at the Bulwark down on 23rd, where we keep the all the leftovers of that the rich people give us um, that aren't good enough for the permanent collection. Did you ever great, take anything? It was a great job. Did you ever take anything? No, I never took anything. Maybe a couple of catalogs, <laughs> uh, just for shows like 
that were pretty obscure anyway. Did you ever so do anything weird? Landfill. Did you ever do anything weird in the museum? Yeah, we were. You get crazy standing up five hours a day or seven hours a day. Uh, the, it drives you insane being yeah. a guard. I'm mm -hmm. serious. It's, it's 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 hard work. You wouldn't think it's as hard as it is. Well, that's why just, the people that usually go crazy and shoot up places are security guards. That could be it. Or late it, night hosts. Late night yes. hosts. That's true. We're a close second, Bill. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me. We got to go, Stephen. Thank you so much, Stephen Malkin. Good luck with the uh, the CD. Coming up next, I'll read some Thanks. emails from.